sure. Yeah. What's up, guys? Let's see what we get here. Hey, Danielle. Whose legs are sore from yesterday? Mine are really <laughs> sore, like extremely. So we're gonna mix it up. Today we're gonna focus mainly on upper body. We're really gonna tax the upper body. So if you guys are hopping on this, you, you, know, you may not have seen Jess's story on Instagram, but you're gonna need at least one of your gallon jugs, your water jugs, and two type of Two boxes or two, when I, do, when I do this workout later at the house, I'm gonna use two of my table chairs for um, the push-up hold. Um, you may need to use your uh, chair for some type of elevated push-up too, so. If you didn't see our post on our YouTube channel, we do have uh, push-up variations that you can go check out later or if you've got a second now. So yeah, we're gonna to try to put some uh, exercise demonstrations on the YouTube channel before we do the workout in case there's something that needs scaled. So that way we kind of work any kind of uh, uncertainties or clarifications out before we start the workout. But we're going to get started. Jess is going to be doing this one today and I'm going to do it later. So uh, the first couple things, we've got you know, several warm-ups. We're gonna run in place first and then you're gonna do scissors. Okay, so those are the two first warm-ups that we're gonna do. And we're gonna jump right in this guy. So we're gonna go in uh, to running in place 30 seconds at a time. Ready, begin. So just like a nice little easy jogging place here. Your feet are gonna hit right underneath your hips. Move your arms like you're actually jogging. We're gonna get you nice and loose. Hopefully work out some soreness from yesterday. Ooh, I can feel my hamstrings just doing this. I don't know what you guys. Okay, scissors, 15 seconds. We're really gonna work our upper body today. So you guys are probably gonna feel sore in your chest, over your triceps, and we're gonna finish up with some core stuff today. Okay, run a place. Just here, 20 seconds here. So I pick it up a little bit, pump those arms. This is gonna be good, I'm excited to do this. We're gonna get our upper body nice and sore. Scissors. Just here for 15 seconds. We're gonna go through this, these two sequences a couple more times. And then we're gonna do two more sequences, a couple, uh, several sets. Big open, really peel those shoulders open big time. Back to running in place. This time I wanted you guys to pick it up a little bit, go a little bit more intently on this, this set here, okay? Scissors, ready, 15 seconds. Just like yesterday, I don't know what we have planned, so we're gonna do this together, guys. Yeah. Jess is just as surprised as you are. Run in place, ready, last set. This time, make it as hard as you can. Pump those legs. I'm going to be doing this one later myself. And scissors, ready. Now we're gonna go right into two exercises. You guys have done this. It's an inchworm walkout, wide stance. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and start. Walk your feet out to a plank position. Come back, keep your body down, drive your hips back, back out. Trying to get our upper body loose.
You're gonna be right here for 45 seconds, okay? You're just doing three sets of these two sequences. You get those arms and shoulders loose. Keep going. We've got about eight more seconds. We're gonna go immediately into a hamstring sweep, alternating sides, and begin. Alternate side hamstring sweep. Big sweep. Just trying to take those hamstrings through your range of motion. You may feel sore if you did this workout yesterday. My legs are really sore. Okay, wide stance inchworm. Ready, begin. Try to speed up this time. I want you guys to walk out a little bit more quickly. Walk yourself back more quickly, okay? This workout today also, guys, is gonna be a short one. We're gonna try to make this one a little bit short, just like we did yesterday, so you guys have the option of going back afterwards and doing a workout um, that's a shorter workout based on the time constraints that you have. One more, one more. All right, hamstring sweep, ready. We're here 30 seconds. Okay, last inchworm walkout, last one. This one I want you to be the most quick that you've been on all three of these sets. Walk it out quick, walk it back quick. It's our last set of this. Sweep. Last set, ready. If you guys have any questions, you can post them in the comment here and I'll try to look answer them if you have any questions. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be tough. We got 10 more seconds and then we're gonna get right into our next first set of, of strength emphasis for our upper body. And rest, very good. Now, uh, you guys may have seen the Facebook post about uh, push-up variations. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do push-ups. We're gonna keep the reps sort of manageable, and but we're gonna keep the rest longer than what, what we normally do. So, you're doing 10 push-ups, okay? The scaled options are no scale, where your feet are up. I want your hands right underneath your armpits, guys. Do not let your elbows flare out. If you do, you need to scale it back. The other scaled option is gonna be doing a push-up from an elevated surface. So let's say you can't do an elevated surface. You can't do a push-up on the ground, do one elevated on your toes. On your toes. So like, best thing to do on this is probably like some kind of counter, maybe like a couch. Uh, but you can do it on your toes. Sometimes that little bit of an angle makes it easier to do it from your toes. Now, if you can't do either one of those, first, the next thing after that is try it from your knees, okay? Try to go from your knees on the ground. You got your knees on the ground, okay? I want you to be able to get 10 push-ups. If you cannot get 10 at your variation, you need to scale it back so that you can, okay? The other option is gonna be doing it elevated from your knees so that you can 
I want your hands to sit deep. This box is a little narrow, so I want you to use some type of like, maybe like two chairs, like side by side, two seats from a chair. This is still pretty low. This so. is still pretty low, okay? This is not gonna be easy. We got a lot of sets. But those are the four options. So we're gonna go here. You got 10 push-ups. You're gonna stand up and you're immediately gonna do 10 real aggressive arm throw downs. We're just trying to work opposing muscle groups doing this, doing this this way. After that set, we're gonna rest 45 seconds, okay? So we're gonna work off Jess's time here. So we're gonna go in 10 seconds. You're doing 10 push-ups at your own pace. Good technique, all the way down. Don't cut it short. And begin. Once she does 10 push-ups, she's gonna stand up immediately and do 10 arm throw down. It's real aggressive. I want you to throw your hands through past your body and then peel them right back up to the top. Nice. 10 arm throw downs. Real aggressive. Like you're trying to smack somebody to just make you upset or something. Once you do 10 of those, we're going to rest. Okay, I got the timer, we're resting. Huh. 45 second rest, okay? We've got five sets of this. Whoa! Five sets. <laughs> we can do it. We're trying to accumulate a good amount of work on these push-ups. This is our strength focus, okay? Good job, guys. Okay, get ready. Second set, ready, begin. We're looking for 10, guys. Seconds rest. This is getting this is getting tough. I gotta tell. She's the, getting the last set of these couple pull uh, push ups. It's tough. I want you to make sure that you're able to get ten reps, though, guys. So if if the variation that you're doing is too hard, I want you to step it back one level so that you can get ten reps. Okay. full range of motion push-up. I don't want any kind of partials. I don't want your elbows to flare out. At the bottom of a push-up, your hand should sit right underneath your armpit, okay? Okay, get ready. Three, two, one. Third set, begin. If you're watching and you need this thing ramped up, you can if you got someone to do it, you can have them sort of give you a little bit of downward push. If you got a weight mask, you need that, you can do that. Nice. You're getting tough for her, it's good. Good, good. We've got two more sets. Yeah, you guys are watching, we're gonna post, like I said, we're gonna try to post uh, exercise on the YouTube exercise demo uh, playlist uh, for movements that we're gonna be doing that particular day that may need a scaled option so that you can kind of visit that, see what option's gonna be the best for you. That way, going into the workout each day, you kind of know what exercise variation you're going to be doing. Okay, get ready, five seconds. We're gonna start our fourth set. And begin. 
Come on. Real purposeful intent here, okay? This body weight stuff is tough. Seconds rest. We're gonna do one more set. Tough, 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 tough. seconds. Three, two, one, begin. Last set, last set. Okay, rest. Now, while you guys are resting, we're going to demo these next three things. We're going to kind of hit some lower body stuff here and then come back to upper body real fast. So, side plank with the knee down, leg up. Jess has done this before. Some of you guys have done this. Go build your side, lift your body up, keep the top leg up, and then back down. Fully relaxed, hip touches the ground, right back up. Okay, that's the first thing. You guys should be able to do this one even scale. You just don't spend quite as much time at the top. Okay, so we're going to be doing both sides there. Then we're going to go to our back. Okay. And then we're going to do a, an alternative march. So you're going to like, you're going to like do your right leg up, left leg down. You're going to lift up and down on that leg for time. We're going to switch legs to the other side, okay? And then we're going to go immediately into a straight leg reverse bridge. What this looks like is Jess is going to get on her hands. You're going to put your feet completely out and your hands are going to be sitting up first. The okay, hands back to your side. You're going to lift your body up and hold right here. Okay, we're gonna lift up. You gotta drive your heels in the ground, you gotta squeeze your butt to lift up your leg, okay? If you need a scaled option of this, instead of holding at the top for the time, you're going to lower and then lift. And then lower and then lift, okay? Hold your legs straight on this. We're trying to like emphasize more of the hamstring and the glutes on this right here, okay? So that's our three things. And that's our rest time, so get ready. We're starting on a side plank with your top leg up. You're gonna have your bottom knee in the ground. Okay, get ready in three, two, one, begin. Keep working, keep working. And switch sides. As soon as she gets set, we're gonna start the timer and begin. 15 seconds. Come on. We're gonna go several sets of this back to back to back to back. Come on. On your back, single leg bridge. Start whichever leg you want. Get set and begin. Good. 15 seconds. Good, good. 
Switch legs, ready. Straight leg, reverse tabletop, get ready, and up. Try to hold it here, squeeze those glutes, push through your heels, drive your legs in the ground, lift. We're trying to be here for 15 seconds. If you need to scale, again, you can lower and raise, and rest back to the other side, side plank, get ready. Up. 15 seconds. Good, good. Switch legs, opposite side. Begin. Take your time on this. Make sure you really should feel this in your hips big time, okay? back, single leg bridge, get set, and begin, 15 seconds, switch legs, get ready, begin, keep the toe up here, Keep this toe up on the ground, leg that's on the ground. Keep that toe up, heel down. And reverse tabletop, get set, ready, and up. Come on. Big squeeze, squeeze those hips up high, squeeze them up. Toes towards you if you can. And back to the ground. One more set on your side. Get ready. Up. Switch sides. Get ready. Begin. Really taxing those hips and glutes, guys. Really taxing. We're almost done. We're just doing three sets of this. So we're gonna go down. Switch on your back. Single leg bridge. And ready. Switch legs, begin. On your back, tabletop, last set, ready, up. Last 15 seconds, guys, last 15 seconds. We're gonna rest. Good, rest, just a second, just enough to get this demo here. Okay, this is where you're going to need your jug of water. So you're gonna use your jug of water and you're gonna need your two surfaces that we told you about. So get a couple chairs put out. What we're doing, a push up hole, okay? First exercise is a push-up hold, okay? First option is from your toes, okay? Second option is do it from your knees. And guys, listen, get two kitchen chairs, put them side by side, use the seat for your surface, okay? That's what I want you guys to be able to do, okay? You're gonna go right from this and you're going to do a hold 
with this jug straight out from your body. You're going to pinch in to the sides of this jug, okay? You're gonna contract, like you're trying to like pinch this jug apart, okay? It'll be right here, squeezing. You're gonna feel your chest engage, okay? That's the second thing. The third thing is you're gonna to go to your back and you're going to do a press with the same grip, okay? Jess is gonna be on her back, she's gonna be pinching this jug together. As she pinches it together, she's gonna to be pressing it up and down while she's pushing it in. Now, if you have some dumbbells, you can also use a dumbbell. So I can grab a dumbbell, I can hold it out, and I can push into this dumbbell, okay? I'm not just holding this, I'm actually trying to push this, this way, okay? So we got push up hold, we've got a hold here, or pushing into the, the jug or the dumbbell, and then we're doing a floor press with the jug or with the dumbbell, okay? That's what we got. Our active recovery on this is a run in place. We're gonna go from immediately from the press, we're gonna get up and we're gonna run in place, okay? So we got push up hold, the jug hold, the jug floor press, and then a run in place. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, begin. This is our last thing that we're doing, so we're gonna really push these things, okay? We're here 20 seconds. Come on. When you get done with this hold, you're gonna immediately grab your jug, arms completely straight out, switch. Grab your jug, hold it straight out front of you. I want you to pinch this thing together, okay? You're gonna push it together like you're trying to squeeze your chest. You should feel your chest engage when you push into this thing, okay? Push, push. This is tough, guys. On your back, floor press, ready. And begin. I want you to get as many reps as you can on this floor press, okay? Back to a push-up hold. Two sets before we run. Ready and begin. Push-up hold. Right back into it. Jess has no idea this time sequence, so she just, just <laughs> surprises everybody. Come on. Switch, jug hold. Like I said, arms out. I want you guys to pinch this thing together like you're trying to pop this jug. You need to squeeze enough that you feel your chest engage because you're squeezing into this thing. So you're getting resistance going down because you're having to hold it out, and you're getting resistance because you're pinching your ha hands together. Come on. Oh, come on, guys. This is tough. She's over here <laughs> shrieking. All right, keep it in your hand. Get on your back. Four press. Three, two, one, go. I want you to rock it out. I want as many as you can get. 20 seconds, guys. Come on. Okay, up, we're gonna run in place for our active recovery, and ready. We got one minute to run in place here.
Okay, back to push up hold. Ready and begin. This time we've got 30 seconds of everything. 30 seconds instead of 20. Come on. This is the last set of stuff though that we got. We're not doing any other exercise after all this. Come on. We're trying to really push that upper body. Come on. I want you guys shaking. Switch, jug hold, get ready, jug hold. Okay, ready and go. If you need to bring your, bend your elbows, because it's getting hard, bend your elbows and just hold it right here close to your body and push into it, okay? You can have your arms bent. You're still trying to push into it to get your chest engaged. You can keep your arms straight, Keep your arms straight, it makes it even harder. Come on, come on. Three, two, one, press. Get ready and begin. Just nice, consistent pressing here. seconds. You're going to be up, running in place. Two, one. Ready. Up, running in place. Running in place. All right. Pick those legs up now. Come on. Get those arms. Really get those arms going with it. Move those arms. seconds. We're going to go immediately back into a push-up hold. We're doing one more sequence of 30 seconds. Come on, we're getting close to being done. Five more seconds. Come on. Three, two, ready. Get ready to push-up holds. Get ready and hold. 30 seconds. You need to scale this, guys. Drop to your knees. Can't emphasize that enough. If you can stay on your toes, though, do that too. It should be tough. And jug hold. Get ready. Just as soon as she gets set, we're going. Go. The key thing here, guys, this is all intent. You can push this thing as hard as you want, or you can do easy and slack. I want you to squeeze this dang jug like you're trying to burst it. If you do that, you're going to get a crazy engagement in all the muscles around your checks, uh, chest and pec area. That's so why I got it here. I can't press on it if I'm Bend straight. your arms. Bend your arms if you need to. Three, two, and switch. On your back, presses, ready. Get a nice, consistent uh, press pace. We are almost done, we are almost done. We're going to finish strong, go. And up, running in place, running in place. Ready, begin. 45 seconds. Run, to, run as fast as you can this, this last time. After we run in place, we've got two consecutive rounds, 20-second hold, press, floor press. Okay? We're doing two consecutive rounds. Finish up, last two sets, then we're done. Come on, puff those legs, fast as you run, got 20 seconds. I want you guys running fast, come on. Go, 
Okay, get ready. Push up hold, 20 seconds. And begin. We're doing back to back 20 second sequences, okay? Back to back, no rest. And then we're done. We'll stretch our chest out. Good, jug hold. Come on. Get set and ready. Push, come on. Have your arms bent, push. Push, get you a good contraction. You should be burning. That's it. Yeah. All right, all right. Three, two, one. Floor, press, floor. Ready, go. there. Three, two, one. Four press. Last 20 seconds. We're done. Ready. Scorpion stretch, okay? You stretch out your chest. Arms go straight out to your side. You take your opposite heel, take it toward your opposite hand, okay? So be here for a second. Good job, guys. That should you should felt that in your upper body. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Switch sides. Should feel gentle. Should feel a gentle stretch. Should not have any pain doing this. If you do, back off on the range. Back to the other side. Back to the other side. Ready. Good job, guys. Doing good. Almost done. And back to the opposite side. Last 20 seconds. If you guys are watching tomorrow, we're going to hit some core and cardio tomorrow, okay? We're going to make it hard and short. Three, two, one, and done. Good job. That was it. It was tough. Hope it was tough for you. If it wasn't, you need to work on those variations. Good job. Very nice, guys. Very nice.